Welcome to your new job with Healthy Grand Bears Entertainment. Since you're new, I have to tell you multiple things about how you will work and enumerate the rules. So let's start by the introduction as always. Welcome to Healthy's new pizza place where kids have fun and eat pizzas with sugar. I don't know why kids love pizzas full of sugar, but well, that's a fact. Let's continue with some basic rules. Don't break tools provided, don't steal, uh, don't go into the backstage, it's private, and have fun and work well. So, I told you about tools, right? You've probably noticed that you have a monitor next to you. Great! It will let you watch the whole batment and make sure everything is okay. The thing that I think is really amazing is the fact that you can use the light in the corridor in front of you as well as in the cameras to light up the rooms. Yeah, we couldn't afford night vision, so we went for flashlights. Uh, you can reload your light batteries via the part and service camera. Pretty weird said that way, but, well, that's technology, you know? <laughs> uh, since the last restaurant closed its doors, the company decided to change the designs of the characters. Uh, some shiny, smooth, and cute ones, right? As you can probably see, there's a fun time helpy on the stage, and uh, you have a cute-looking helpy robot on your desk. They might move during the nights, you know, it's a thing they often do. Uh, if Funtime Helpy gets in your office, uh, just put on the Helpy's mask provided on your head. Uh, the mask might make him go away, thinking you wouldn't need any songs or pizzas, right? The mask is from an old location's animatronic. We still have the endoskeleton behind a curtain in the batman. No more space in the parts and service department. It should not move, you know, it's totally broken. Uh, but if it does move, please report immediately. <laughs> so, I've probably talked too much. Uh, you're all by yourself now. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.
You did an amazing job yesterday. This was perfect. I didn't tell you about some things in my introduction speech for your first night. You know this little helpie on your desk? There's a way to stop him from moving for a short period of time. Just touch him. We've got a new thing on this robot. As he moves a lot and his mouth can be at the same height as children when he's on stage, we decided he should stop himself when getting in contact with a human to prevent, you know, any danger or kids getting hurt. If he is touched, he'll simply deactivate himself. I also haven't mentioned the music box in the prize corner. There's a thing inside that we found with the box, a puppet of sorts, like an animatronic. I seriously don't know what it is. If the music box doesn't play music anymore, that puppet might get angry. Uh, that's what members of the staff say, but I, I don't really trust them. A robot can't be angry, right? Only living things can. So wind up that music box in case it's true. Uh, never sure enough, right? These days, we're getting in trouble with the ventilation. I don't know why. We'll see if we can make it better and repair it tomorrow. At the end of your shift, we'll ask you to go to the parts and service desk to check out robots for the next day, okay? If they don't work, we'll have to quickly send more members of the staff to repair them. The most important thing is that you test their speakers. They seem to have broken in the last minutes of today's party. I don't know why. That's all I have to say. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
Would you like some sugar on your pizza, my friend? 